Good afternoon everyone. Today I choose the pandemic topic about plague of Athens that severely damaged the city in 430 BC. Athenian and Spartan are the main characters in Athens plague. Currently we are facing the COVID-19 pandemic, it's not the first time to the world. The world faced many pandemic plenty of times before. I gathered the plague related info from a book written by Thucydides the historian of Athens. Ok today we are going to have a look on the introduction, Pericles the king of Athens death video. Pandemic and epidemic definition. What is plague of Athens, we'll explain it in a few words. A civil war, geography, this plague had happened during a war, will show Spartans and Athens city states. The cause of the Peloponnesian war. City of walls, geography, how and where a city of walls built to protect the city and public in war. Plague, who describes about Athenian plague. Actually it happened during 400 BC but how we got to know about this plague. Plague symptoms. Before and after plague. Countries related to Athens plague. Peloponnesian war chronology. Sparta and Athens, similarity yet differences. Summary. Conclusion. From the video, we actually could understand the underestimation of a disease could kill anybody as it killed the king of Athens, his two sons, his wife, and one third of Athens population. Pericles large and in charge things are looking up. But there was no alternative plan to maintain the power of Athens after his death. His death was a disaster for Athens. To put it differently to current situation. What would happen to US if Trump was infected by COVID-19? On the positive side, most of them might be happy. Well, I don't know maybe. Next. The word pandemic and epidemic are actually Greek origin. Epidemic comes from epidemos. AP equals upon slash on and demos equals people and pandemic from pandemos. Pan equals all and demos equals people. All people, meaning it spreads a new disease to all people. And the plague of Athens, took over Athens and infected and killed an estimated one third of Athens total population. This outbreak occurred during the second year of Peloponnesian War, which was 431 to 404 BC. So we have to get to know about Sparta Athens and the Peloponnesian War. There was two most powerful city-states in Greece, Sparta and Athens, were complete opposites, Athens was a democracy and all about politics and culture. Sparta was an oligarchy where its people were bred to fight. 2 League, this civil war between Delian League which led by Athens and Peloponnesian League led by Sparta, Red Area by Sparta, Athens Yellow. Opinion Athens, good geographic location and it is one of their advantage. Basically, Athens being stronger in naval, naval, state was relying heavily on its navy to win the war. Approximately 13,000 armored spearmen in their military troop additionally, 80,000 men crewing 400 ships. And the location seems a powerful weapon to travel nearby states by ships and this makes Athens travel faster than Sparta from one location to another location. Thus this makes clear that Athens has many port, harbor, partners, where Sparta has land power military troops roughly 20,000 or 30,000 men. But not stronger as Athens in naval power. Despite Spartan known as military machine, they were able to assemble massive amounts of land's troops as a defensive measure. However how Sparta crossed Athens to Thebes and successfully conquered, conked, the state Athens also built a long wall through Sparta. In fact Sparta and Athens had policy of retreat and peaceful agreements first for 50 years and other for 30 years. But promise were broken by Sparta. There are few reasons, after Persian War in 499 BC, Spartan and Athenians had mistrust. Because Sparta seemed content to keep by Athens to provide army and assistance when necessary. 
During policy retreat and peaceful agreement Athens forms New Delhi and League alliances. So Sparta felt threatened and consequently they formed Peloponnesian League. On the other hand, Athens controls trade routes of grain and other foods. In addition, Athens wanted to control more and more of the land around them. So that Sparta feared of the growing power and influence of the Athenian Empire. Finally, decided to warn Athens free all the cities under their control or else face war. This eventually led to Peloponnesian War in simple terms Spartan jealous and fear of Athenians growing power. But before Athenians isolated Spartans, Pericles who was the king of Athens, he brilliantly adopted a policy of retreat to build the Athens city of walls to protect the city on land. Spartans protest not to build the wall but Athens simply ignore it and built it on 456 BC. The western wall connected the southwest of Athens to its port Piraeus and was about 6 km long, the eastern wall continued from the south of the city to another port, Phalerin, which was about 5 one half km away. Between the two walls, a large triangle of land could be used for agriculture. Ultimately, Pericles created a safe path and enough food resources in the name of agriculture for Athenians. It is Athens' significant strategy sole source of food and supplies. Entered through their city port, the walls are high enough to protect Athenians during war. Unfortunately wall was not last long to save Athenian. After Pericles' death, Sparta destroyed the walls but later in 395-391 BC the wall was rebuilt with Persian support. The war completely changed Greeks' life, 430 BC the second year of Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta. It still seems like the victory is in reach for the Athenians, because of the army power but since the city of walls were built to protect the city. This also meant that people from the countryside around Athens were also making their way into the city of walls to protect themselves. So the population inside the walls was pretty much overcrowded. During the period they were not aware about social distancing, as we are practicing now, obviously they never practice it inside the walls. This means the Athens become a breeding ground for disease. This is how the plague spread very fast and it was a tough situation for Athens to survive from the plague. According to Thucydides, the disease began in Ethiopia beyond Egypt, and then descended into Egypt and Libya and spread over the greater part of the king's territory. Then it fell upon the city of Athens, and attacked first the inhabitant of the Piraeus, but the other countries were not severely affected by this plague as Athens. I feel that the deaths were doubled because a huge decline in health care because nobody is ready to die by helping others. Most likely to catch the plague because they're dealing with the sick. It is transparent that people were left alone to suffer in pain and die. It was so severe like how we are facing right now. At least, today we have the science to discover diagnosis, and medication in the recovery of COVID-19. Moreover the doctors and nurses staying at hospital to relieve COVID-19 symptoms. I think we have to salute for their sacrification but we are finding it hard to stay home right now, we never imagine how it would feel to be a doctor or nurse. Oldest historical plague that was recorded on the book named The History of the Peloponnesian War, which is written by Thucydides. Actually I used this book as a major source to complete my slide, Thucydides was an Athenian historian, he was there during plague and got plague. He survived from it, and because of him we are very lucky to know what actually happened during Peloponnesian War and the plague. That means now we are able to speak about the plague and the symptoms from someone who actually suffered from it. People who survived from the plague are who are with strong immune system. Apart from that, estimated 75,000 to 100,000 people died from the Athenian plague that's is 25% of Athens population. At the time funeral pyres were everywhere, people throw the dead people on burning fire. They had no choice, there were too many dead bodies and they had to get rid of it. 
Spartans saw the smoke from our funeral pyres, it scared the fearless Spartans withdrew their troops away from the city walls to make sure they wouldn't catch the plague. The first stage of the plague was extreme fever it continues with coughing and sneezing. The eyes were inflamed and became bloodshot red. Sore throats leading to bleeding and bad breath followed by loss of voice and vomiting. Next stage of the plague was extreme thirst then insomnia have trouble of sleeping and diarrhea. The plague was transmitted from one person to another person when touch or speaking to infected person. There are not much differences between plague of Athens and COVID-19. The plague brought a lot of social changes, based on Thucydides he mentioned that lawlessness that ruled throughout the plight of the plague. He also added that people not knowing what would happen next to them, became indifferent to every rule of religion or law. People stopped respecting the rules because they thought they are going to die anyway. They stopped living honorably because they believed that they would not live long enough to reap the benefits of a good reputation. The plague also caused a little bit of a religious crisis as well. People were dying regardless how spiritual they were so people began to believe that gods had abandoned them and were in favor of Sparta over Athens. People from Attic countryside moved into Athens, they had nowhere to stay so they were staying in the temples and getting sick. The temple then became these places of disease and death. A very big power shift internally within Athens because a lot of Athenian rich people died and left their money to their lower class relatives, so got elevated. Furthermore a lot of refugees from countryside started to counterfeit documents to prove that they were Athenian citizen and those caught with these fake documents then forced into slavery. This meant a lot of strict law and requirements put in place in order to become an Athenian citizen and there was also a very big decrease in their military and political power in Peloponnesian War. Before the plague, Athens conquered nearly all of Greece but then after plague many countries used the weakness of the war and tried to take over Athens. Sparta eventually won and the age of Pericles actually came to an end. Greece. Greece lost power to Macedonia, it used the weakness of Athens after Peloponnesian War. Persia. Which is currently known as Iran. Persian controlled Greek with Spartan support. But defeated by Athenians Delian League. Macedonia. Alexander's father Philip II Macedonia king controlled nearly all of Greece except Sparta. Teacher of Alexander is Aristotle, who is the greatest philosophers of all time. Aristotle's tutor is Plato who is an Athenian philosopher as founder of the Platonist school and academy, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Rome Empire copied two kings system. Battle of Carthago and Roman Consul System 445 BC to 431 BC Pericles leads Athens Golden Age And then 431 BC to 404 BC Peloponnesian War happened Now I'm gonna be talking about the similarities and differences of Athens and Sparta Sparta Strongest military Two kings Women had more freedom. Killed weak babies. Athletic. Physically fit. Focused on military training. Trained boys to be warriors. Won the Peloponnesian War against Athens. School, 7 to 12 years old. Harsh treatment. People could not travel. Metal bars for money. Athens. Focused on education. Reading. Writing. Music. Art. Strongest navy. Women stayed home. Largest city. Rich democracy. Taught public speaking. Men had different professional. Encouraged travel. Parthenon, a temple with a 30-foot statue of Athena. School, finished at 18 years old. Both. Greek city-states. Language. Political power. Slaves trade. Region. Myths. City council. Peloponnesian War Summary. Plague weakened the most powerful city-state, Athens, and lost their superior power to Sparta. Sparta destroyed the walls during Peloponnesian War. The plague caused many people to die, and it killed some important Athens leadership. 
King of Athens the Pericles, his family, and many other citizens, Athens lost a lot of manpower and great leadership. Ultimately causing Athens to lose the Great Peloponnesian War. In true Greek spirit, Sparta refused to burn the city of Athens. Rather, the culture and spirit of Athens was allowed to live on, as long as the Athenians no longer desired to rule their fellow Greeks. In this way, the influence of Athens remained and grew stronger. Other city-states had the same kinds of temples, buildings, and meeting places. But it was Athens that became most famous. Other city-states gained power, but biggest threat came from Macedonia. New power, Philip II of Macedonia took over the Greek city-states. Sparta gained control of Athens port took all their ships, Spartans cut off supplies by land and water. Athens was forced to give up in 404 BC. This was a largest loss of life Athenians history and a major breakdown in Athenian society. Athens lost its power and Athenian empire could no longer expand. It was the end of golden age of Greece. In conclusion, if no new strategic to recover people from the plague, the people will lost control and started to protest. If the people protest in groups then the plague will spread faster. So in my opinion, I feel that the government should save the people instead of saving the economy at this critical situation. People are the economy, if they died nobody will be there to work for the country. Lastly, I think this plague of Athens and the total population depletion was a good lesson for upcoming generation to take it as a precautions before the country goes worser. Better create a slogan that don't be vague about the plague. Well, that's all for today, I am signing off. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you have gained knowledge on something new. Have a very good day.